this class, guys, you're going over some single leg X uh, sweeps, okay? Some options to give you guys in, uh, depends on the reaction for a partner, okay? So we're going to start. So the first option, we're going to start single leg X when my partner has the knee down, okay? So the control we're going to have, we're going to try to maintain the position nice and tight. Okay, usually the person has this grip in the pants, okay? So when the person has this grip in the pants, what I like to do is this. I like to copy his knee, okay? I'm gonna make this grip on his knee, and I'm gonna start to twist his knee down to create a little room as I move my hips outside to start to go under his leg, okay? What happened now is this, okay? I'm gonna make this grip on his pants, okay? Close to his knee, and the leg's gonna be over my biceps, like this. What happened now, if I start to go to the regular x card sweep, when I start to stretch it out, he's holding my pants, he starts to step on the floor, okay? So I need to deal with this grip first. What I'm gonna do, with the grip I have free, I'm gonna reach from this grip, I'm gonna break the grip, all right? And I'm gonna deliver it to my hands. When I deliver to this grip to my hands, now I can easily start to push it away and it starts to set up your base, okay? But I really like, uh, this option here. I'm gonna place my heel after break the grip. I'm gonna start to place my heel on top of his biceps. Okay. What this does is he's gonna become very really heavy in this in this side right here. This side you have control of body position. So I'm gonna place my heel on his biceps. I'm gonna like chop down, and I'm gonna start to apply pressure towards this one. Okay. Usually from here the person starts to stand up. When the person starts to stand up, you're gonna reach. Turn your face. When the person starts to stand up, you're gonna reach my second grip on his knee with my palm facing up because the way is way harder to me break the grip. Now when I go to my sweep, I'm gonna use my knee against his knee to apply pressure in the side of his knee and at the same time I'm gonna to start to bring my elbow up. So pay attention to my left elbow. So I'm gonna use my knee here to apply pressure in his knee and my elbow is starting to go up from here. Okay and I get this sweep. So now I start to scoop back and I start to bring my leg all the way up. And when I stand up I still have control of this leg. Right? So sometimes, if the person keep it on his knee, they're the same house. So sometimes, if the person keep it on his knee, I try to reach anyway inside the knee, like that, okay? So it's a little bit harder to make the grip. To be honest, like you don't have to, to make this grip. You can even have the grip in the club because this control is very powerful, right? When I shot my heel down and I apply pressure with my bone to the side, it's gone, right? Now, I start to scoop, and I start to bring my legs all the way out. Okay? So that's the option number one. Sometimes, if the person does grab her collar, is the other common reaction. When you go under the leg, you can go all the way through, and then you do the same thing, okay? So just to remind, so when you, when you have this sleeve grip, you can easily you start to set up your base. Okay, the reason why I prefer the second option is because if he's mostly start to stand up and controlling my pants, it's gonna be hard to stand up the pants. Okay, so then it's better sweeping into the side. Right? So the other option is super common here. Especially uh, when I don't have the underhook yet, the people start to come up, right? When he's come up, when I start to control his pants, sometimes he's gonna break this grip. And it's what I hold in my arm, okay? So this is a very common position nowadays on the single leg X position. What I'm gonna do here to deal with this grip is then try to kind of like circle my hands and break this grip. So especially when I bring my arm up, what I like to do is this, okay? Bring my elbow back, I open my knee, and I'm gonna start to use my knee against his knuckles to break the grip. So one more time, look, he's putting my grip up, I open my knee, and I break. As I break, I go to his knee. Okay, but now my grip is probably facing up. When he's trying to break the grip, it's way harder for him. It's a very hard thing to him to do. I open my knee, when I sweep into the side, I sweep, and I start with my cross on top to get a sweep, okay? If you have a time, right? So when the person starts to reach, if you say with any numbers, if you have a time, it's even better if you go under, okay? You grab the pants, now when you stand up, when I grab the second grip and this break, break the grip. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I now have an even better control because I want you guys to take a look at this. So when my grip is over, 
I don't have my elbow to push, to push his leg all the way straight over my head. When I have this grip, what this grip does is, in the same time I create off balance with my knee, I create off balance with my elbow. I'm going to slide my elbow all the way higher towards my head. And what is, this is going to do is ex, overextend his leg. So when I use my knees against his leg, in the same time I use my elbow, pay attention to my elbow. I'm going to do it slow so you guys can see better. Look. Right? When he falls, it's an easier thing doing, it's a easier, uh, very easy thing doing for me. I start to slide myself and start to bring my leg out to stand up in base with a very good control. Okay? So this is one of the variations, guys, like a simple positions I like to do from single leg X. There are so many options, okay? But this sweep is very, very effective, okay? Hope you guys enjoy the class. Peace.